Hey everybody, Milik here. So today we're playing EVE Online. I mean Echoes. Obviously, I meant to say EVE Echoes uh, right before I said online. Anyway, um, I've been playing the game for about a couple of days, uh, like nine, which is as long as the game actually has been around. And uh, I decided to make this video tutorial to help you guys out. Now, first things first, the uh, clicking you hear in the background is actually my mouse because I'm playing the game on PC. On PC, you, you would say Milik, but Milik, the game is a mobile game. And to that, I say yes, it is. But I'm actually using a mobile emulator, Android emulator called Bluestacks. Yeah, you can get it on PC. You just log into your uh, Google account and uh, you can play it on PC, which is much easier and uh, obviously on a big screen. To clarify, I'm actually playing both on my cell phone and on a PC, but right now I'm playing on PC because it's easier to record. Now, uh, a couple of things I wanted to go over. Alright, so to start with, I gotta tell you that it's much easier to make money with a premium account. The premium account in this game is called the Omega Clone. Uh, there it is. So the Omega Clone. And stand, as a standard basic, uh, you have an Alpha Clone, and then there's the paid Omega Clone. Now, the way you get the Omega is you buy Plex, which is a short for pilot something license. Pilot service license, something like that. Anyway, uh, so the Plex, according to the game designers, is 20 grand a <clears throat> pop, but obviously, depending on the market, it may be cheaper or more expensive. This at 33 grand is actually a pretty, pretty decent price at this point in time. I'm sure if I refresh it, it won't be. Oh, well, actually, never mind that. Let me get a handful here. Yes. Oh, no. See, so this happens quite often. So I wanted to buy all of 44 available plagues at that cheap price. However, um, as you can see, I had 63 before and now I have 80. So in fact, I bought 17, which is still pretty good because um, Anytime there is a decent priced plex, it goes out like hotcakes. It basically, there's going to be hundreds of them at a time, at a decent price, and after a moment, it'll be gone. So you can see it's again almost uh, 34,000, and I bought mine for about 30. Um, now there's 20, almost 2800 of these, if I refresh it now, see it's already gone, 28,000, uh, 2800 Plex already gone at uh, lowest, no it's not, no it's not, it's right here, it's right here, but it's actually uh, went down by almost 200, which still, considering the price, is quite shockingly high in this little time. So anyway, in order to get the premium account, you actually will need 170 of these. You can buy them for real money, or you can just make money in game, like I did. Um, so the most basic, what well, the the way they, uh, the way they, have done it is. There we go. You have the basic, and you have the standard, which is pretty pretty stupid actually, uh, naming wise, but never mind that. So even the basic actually gets you everything, but the basic only gives you five extra training uh, points. You normally have 30. I actually bought a special chip that added uh, five to my training. So that's like 30 points per minute. So 35 with the basic Omega clone and if you get standard that's another 25 
what you can also do is get uh, dual bundle at which point you will save a hundred so instead of 600 it will be 500 and you'll get extra 30 other than that it's pretty much identical uh, with either one of these uh, there is a difference the, the the only difference is that you get more skill points not not these skill points here more skill points when you don't actually train something normally when you don't train something you can only get about i think it's like a day's worth of there it is so there's these three skill points here and normally if you don't train anything if i cancel these for now and remove and remove see i get a message that i get free training and i ba i'm basically building up points so i'm getting 28 points per minute at 70 percent training speed i think it's like 50 percent of your training amount when you're only at an alpha clone but um, the highest clone if you get the bundle you will get a hundred percent so a hundred percent of 60 points and the alpha will be 50 percent of 30 points so anyway there's a couple of reasons for getting the omega clone the um, more skill points the uh, faster training that's that's important the more skill points the 300 upgrades that's like advanced skill points i still haven't actually uh, maxed out uh, basic skill points so it's not really an issue at this point in time uh, same with more ships like abaddon battleship i can't even get into one so there's no point in me having this bonus um, a big bonus is the market restriction normally as an alpha you can't actually sell anywhere you want you have to go to a special interstellar trade center um, there's quite a few of them you're never uh, too far more than a couple of jumps but still that's a couple of jumps uh, it's just inconvenient but the real reason right now um, for getting the omega clone is this normally um, as an alpha you get all of these bonuses so okay bonuses this is like extra skill points those um, special that you can use to quickly boost yourself um, beginners insurance voucher that's like if your ship gets destroyed uh, you can use this to sort of resurrect it instead of like the insurance worked in actual EVE Online uh, where you'd have to buy an insurance first and depending on the quality of the insurance you'd get a certain percentage of the ship's value um, on the day five again some more insurance uh, so these are you know it's it's nice to get something for free but they're like nothing special now on this premium you get a little bit more of the extra points uh, again another insurance but here on day six which was a couple of days ago uh, you actually get a free cruiser so i got the caracal as you can see from uh, from my view here now basically i was wondering whether i should get a better ship or just buy the Omega obviously it was a good idea to uh, get the Omega since I got the ship for free now it cost me at this point in time around 5 million to uh, get the 170 Plex to uh, to get the month's worth of that basic basic uh, basic omega now if we look here the actual price for caracal trainer according to the game is almost 9 million credit uh, in fact they only sell for about 4 million but that's pretty much as much as i actually paid for the omega and then i got all of that for free 
So basically, you just buy the Omega, you get all the bonuses, and then some free ships. Now, the very important tomorrow, uh, there's going to be this special destroyer that gets a really decent bonus damage. Uh, and a couple of days ago, yesterday, there was that, which is, again, a special decomposer that gives bonus damage to this um, to this destroyer. Now, if we look here, even if you don't want to use that, it's actually worth a lot. And uh, if we go to... Because that's what the... That's what the game tells you it's worth, but if we want to try to sell it... Oh, now it's actually really bad. But when I checked it like yesterday, it was significantly... See? Like 120,000. So 120,000, the cheapest if you want to undercut this person. You got five of them, so that's like 600,000 if you just want to sell them off. Which is plenty of money at this point in time. Uh, and the important thing is, at the end of the month, look here, that's a battle cruiser. That's better than pretty much any ship I can get normally by that point. Well, maybe I could get a normal battle cruiser or maybe a battleship, but this one is like special and it's free instead of having to spend all this money on it. Right, now that we've established that it's in fact paramount and the best thing to do first is to get the Omega clone, how to do it? Well, you're gonna need about 5 million credit. Uh, you can see all the items I got from looting pirates, which is one way of potentially getting it. Uh, another one, uh, an important thing to do is to do these advanced tutorials. Now, I'm on the last tutorial right now, and I'm actually pretty close to finishing it. I'm going to get a uh, ore reprocessing chip at level 4. So, basically, I won't have to either buy it or train it to level 4. That's like you just use the chip and you have it straight away. But, oh, you can't actually, yeah, you can actually see what they were, but you can see what the rewards were. So, for the very beginning, uh, which took, I don't know, a couple of minutes to actually finish, uh, you just got the extra insurance, but from tutorial 2, you get the Venture Trainer, which is an industrial ship, which basically is a mining ship. So, using this, you actually have like 2,500 uh, meters ore hold, uh, which gives you with two uh, mining lasers it's about half an hour's worth of like just uninterrupted mining so basically um, what I've been doing one of the ways I've made my money the first couple of million is basically I've been playing let's say Battlefield 5 on my PC and then on my cell phone in the background I would just you know, go into an asteroid field and start mining. Now, in a normal even line, if you were anywhere below, I think 1.0, which is the safest, um, the safest region, you could get jumped by pirates. If you were under 0 0.5, you could get jumped by actual people, and those pretty much always would kill you. Now under between 09 and 05 it would just be NPC uh, pirates but obviously that meant you couldn't really just leave your miner there in the asteroid field and go do something else. Here there are no pirates. There are no pirates in asteroid fields. So basically you just get your miner out into the uh, asteroid field uh, maybe select two different asteroids uh, for each mining laser so you know they will definitely last instead of because they can run out so if it runs out then it'll just stop mining so just select two 
and leave it go do something else that's that's a decent way of passively earning uh, a decent amount of money now level four tutorial which again took me maybe three days to get to two three days something like that you can get one of the destroyers so again depending on your race you select the appropriate destroyer or you know depending on your race or whatever you want to use drones or missiles or whatever so I got Corax because that's um, called diary and thanks to that because normally you only have a mediocre frigate you get this condor to start with it's really nothing special so 800 defense uh, just two high slots so two basic weapons uh, compared to that this Corax has almost 2800 defense compared to 800 and three um, free weapon slots also each weapon slot gets a bonus 25% to missiles or torpedoes which gives you an even bigger bonus with this you can do if you don't feel like mining with this uh, so you can use your destroyer to do some missions which are here encounters news and uh, right now I'm on advanced but uh, that's here but normally you would start with basics you wouldn't even have access to advanced so you'd start with basics and you'd have uh, a couple of different types of potential missions here so one of the missions one type of the missions would be those fighting missions with this icon here like a little uh, targeting uh, so we can actually get this done just to uh, show you what I mean there's a little bit of a story to all of them uh, the nice thing they've done here is that they just like assume you will want to do it so they ask you you want to leave you want to start doing it you click yes or don't have to worry active. about anything else all right that um so right now i'm playing on pc this is maximum graphics on pc it doesn't look quite all that great but it's uh you know it's decent it it looks really good on a cell phone it actually looks better on a cell phone than than on a pc because of the size of the screen and you can see like the actual space is those lines here uh, it's not quite the same space it's not quite the same size textures and such as they are in the actual EVE Online uh, so anyway you get to the point and again they ask you if you want to start it and they will warp you into the right place automatically warp drive active um oh there's a wreck somebody been been fighting around here but anyway uh so in those missions you just pretty much show up destroy everyone uh, there's usually maybe four five enemies per wave there there can be like two maybe three waves depending on the mission see there's four of them again because that's just uh, easy stuff it only pays I think either five or ten thousand um, come on boom so because I'm in a cruiser and those are just uh, little crevettes basically one salvo destroys and I uh, yeah destroys their ship and each time you do you get an extra bonus money uh, also uh, some of them like right now will drop loot which you can can and should grab uh, as you've seen my hold at the base is filled with those because I will get to that in a moment right now you can see they're not really doing oh, there we go they're not really doing much much uh, damage to me I actually have two 
shield batteries, I can turn them on. Um, on top of that, I have these energy draining uh, equipment. Uh, if I'm on a harder mission, I'll get to I'll get close to my target and uh, start draining one of them and just keep uh, shooting at all the other ones so I have energy for my shield boosters and I can last as long as I can. Yeah, so that's done. That's done. And this one was like 5,000. Obviously, they take a cut, so I only got like... 4300. Now back to base. Right, so the reason I said I keep holding these for now is... There we go. There we go. Item hanger. So you can see I got loads of all the equipment. Uh, right, the reason is I do get plenty of money now from the actual missions I showed you. The, the higher tier level missions of those fighting missions uh, so I can buy whatever I want uh, with that there's plenty of money for uh, the Omega clone and it lasts a month um, now the reason is uh, let's look at this this is one of the ores you can extract and normally it says that it's supposed to be 26 uh, 26 per each I get like 87,000 of them, so this is apparently worth almost uh, over 2 million credit. That's that's amazing, right? 2 million credit and uh, 5 million for, for the uh, Omega clone worth a month. And this took me maybe two hours to mine. Awesome. Well, not so much. If we look at market details, there we go. Somebody's trying to sell this one off and it's been around for a long time because apparently the person just set it up at the uh, official price without actually looking um, all the other ones people have just adjusted it the reason is there basically is no money on the market the game just started there's very little money so everything sells for shockingly little so if i wanted to sell it Oh, actually, six uh, credits, so I would get half a million, which is which is really decent. But for the those couple of days that I was building up, this would have been maybe two hundred, maybe three hundred uh, thousands worth, maybe three two uh, per item, and it's exact same deal with everything else. Normally, let's have a look at something like that. This is officially worth 10,000. I want to sell it 50. 50 per each. That's that's shocking, right? That's like 200 times less than what's actually worth because that's how little money there is. The good news uh, about the fact that there's so little money is that the actual Plex is also fairly cheap, but that actually went up in price uh, significantly when I first started on the first day I looked at it and it was like 4,000 now it's almost 34 and uh, this is actually a good day because yesterday I've seen it for 40,000 basically every every 20 minutes every half an hour it would go up by like 500 uh, looks like they've settled down a little bit uh, so if you do get enough money every now and then just check the market if there's a decent price just buy uh, however many you can if you find some like right now 33,000 34,000 uh, like you've seen me do before I noticed one for 30 grand just buy as many as you can as many as you yeah like 32,000 maybe I could buy a couple of these say 20 and that did not work because obviously that 32,000 was already gone. Now another way of using those low prices to your advantage is actually if we go here to those encounters, missions, 
uh, every now and then you will get a mission like this. So Peroxys. Peroxys is a an ore that is in uh, low sec. So basically low security systems 04201. Uh, there's security on gates and stations, but not in not in uh, mineral, not, not in uh, asteroids if you want to mine. So basically you can try and risk it, go in there. Oh, yeah, I got a little bit of a bonus from uh, previous uh, killing of pirates. Um, it uh, There's a little delay on those bounties. So anyway, back to this. So yeah, you can risk it. You can try going there, mining it yourself. Uh, so a hundred of this they want, and they pay forty-five thousand. Now a hundred of these for forty-five thousand. If we go to market and look at ores, there we go, raw ores, and um, it's six hundred each technically according to the game that would be you know 59,500 if you just wanted to buy it and you'd get 45,000 well that doesn't really work out however at this point like i said the really low prices 110 120 130 so you'd pay 10 11 12,000 let's say even 15,000 with the broker's fee and you would get 45,000 for it. So that's basically 30 grand of pure profit. So what you do, you just buy it, uh, go to the place, try to find yourself a place that is relatively close. Uh, like for instance, um, this one here is 130 compared to say 120 here, a little more expensive, but 37 jumps and this is just five. So you get that, you fly there, you grab the stuff, and again, everything is basically just done on autopilot. So you just go there, pick up the stuff and fly to the place that they want you to sell it to. Now, this is the basic level here. Uh, I got eight minutes before I can refresh. But if we go to the advanced level, uh, on the advanced level, this mission, the version of this mission for the advanced level actually pays 250,000 for 500 of these instead of 100 of that. So uh, it's a little bit more money, it's like 10% uh, more. But the important uh, thing is basically this is the, the 250,000 is an equivalent of five of these missions at once. So what I've done uh, at the point right now, I'm just focusing on the uh, on doing the, uh, you know, the, the missions that you hunt the pirates because those uh, higher level missions pay really decent money. They're like a hundred thousand for the actual mission, but each pirate is worth ten, twenty, even forty thousand. Uh, so I get like three, four hundred thousand worth of um, cash for. A mission that takes maybe 10 20 minutes to complete in my in my caracal um, anyway back to that right so before I had the cruiser and could make decent uh, money of the hunting missions I did something like this I bought 4,000 of this for pretty much all the money I had at the point and um, that cost me like 600,000 credit Basically, the 4,000 is eight missions worth. Those eight missions, each paying 250,000, that's two million. Two million credits for 600,000 spent. And then you just fly there on an autopilot and get the money. Also, getting back to the missions, while these uh, 4,500 for a couple of dead pirates are the standard type of mission, the normal basic one, if we click here, uh, they only require a T2, either a destroyer or a frigate, which is nothing special, and I got a T5 cruiser. Now, if we look here, 
there actually is a mission worth 50,000. It requires a T3, so one higher than the one before, uh, but it also pays 10 times as much. There's going to be few more enemies than in your basic mission, and they will be harder, but they will also pay more money. Now, when I did an equivalent of this on the higher tier, oh, I can refresh again. Let's have a look if it's here. Uh, so you see the normal basic missions are 90,000 and the amount of enemies in there is 10, about, about 10, maybe 12 enemies, uh, depending whether it's like two or three waves. And uh, it's worth another 200, 250,000 maybe uh, of the actual bounty money on top of the 90 grand here. And it takes like maybe 10, 15 minutes, depending on how many times, uh, if you have to run away and how many times, if you do. Uh, you can actually do it, one of these, those harder missions. I actually did a couple of times in this free uh, Corex trainer that I showed you before. It did take a while longer because this is only a T4. You can actually see the damage on it uh, from those missions when I overstayed my welcome a little bit. Um, right, and it does take a while longer while in the, um, in the cruiser it takes maybe 15 minutes and this one it took half an hour, sometimes maybe longer and definitely harder to actually get them done, but you can. And um, again, it all depends on whatever you want to do. It's, it's significantly more exciting than mining. Um, but anyway, let me have a look if there's the, um, the higher version. Uh, so yeah, 90,000, 90, maybe 100,000 uh, per these normally. Um, so see, this is the 250,000 for 500 of the peroxies I've been telling you about. Um, there's another fighting here. Again, peroxies, no. But again, you can refresh this every half an hour. So for now, normally I do this one, this one, that one, this one, and that would easily be half an hour for the four, uh, which would give me well over a million, including the bounties, and then I could refresh. Uh, so the harder mission, which actually did say required a T6, and I do have a T5, uh, so again, it was harder, but I run away a couple of times, as long as you manage to kill a couple of enemies, maybe just the one, maybe just damage their armor if there's too much pounding on yours uh, and run away. You come back, You ideally you want to run away to a station, dock at the station because that will uh, instantly refresh your shields and your capacitors. So if I log out... Right, so during the fight, the shield here keeps going down and down and down, and the capacitor obviously as well. So you use the shield boosters or armor repair, depending on um, Kaldari, so that's more shields. Um, so if you were Amar, I think they're more armor, so you'd go for that. Um, right, so as long as you can last, keep pounding them, keep attacking, and and finally you'll get through that. So the harder mission that I've done actually paid half a million. So half a million there, there were more enemies and some of those enemies were actually more powerful than the normal cruisers I'm used to, like my Caracal version of a pirate. A pirate version of my Caracal pays, if it's a trainer, 30,000, if it's a Standard is like 40,000 and I think I've seen a Navy issue which is like a harder version which pay like 45 or 50,000 uh, On that harder mission. I actually got like 80 90,000 per uh, stronger cruiser 
uh, each and there were I think like five or six of them uh, during that particular mission so overall that mission paid well over 1.2 million so 500,000 for just for doing the mission and the rest from uh, from the bounties and obviously you get all the loot as well right there's one more way of possibly passively uh, making some uh, not much money but some money anyway is to do this mining on planets you basically go into this um, menu here this one planetary production and it shows you that there's plenty of different planets and each sector you can choose and you can see that on each of them you can mine a particular thing uh, I'm mining this one and uh, there's 200 meters worth of maximum of stuff and uh, I've you can see I've already mined 197 it does take days basically to mine well depending on the actual material something cheaper uh, you may fill it out faster but this I think took me well, I don't know two maybe even three days worth um, so anyway once you do like I can do it right now you press launch and uh, you can see that there's a rate at which is um, it's <coughs> launching the staff to the atmosphere from the actual planet so once all this is done uh, we'll be able to leave the station and go to the planet and pick it up right so this is done what we do now is set as destination and again autopilot and we're going to the place warp drive uh, active you may need i think depending on the resource they don't necessarily uh, have the same volume so you may actually need a bigger ship uh, luckily both this uh, both this cruiser and battle um, the destroyer that you get for free at least mine had 900 uh, meters worth of cargo hold so that is plenty now if you're in a smaller ship that may not necessarily be enough All right, let's look around so this one's mine do it all and that's yeah that's 109 oh, okay so that's exactly what it said there now what we do is we go back to this place come on there we go now an important thing to remember is that while Warp right drive now active. oh i can't actually check that well technically market says 14 right but it's actually worth one so right now 15,000 I'd have like 15,000 credit for that not that much um, but what you need to understand is that these yeah 230 instead it's 10 or 11 uh, what you need to understand is that these are actually needed the planetary resources I mean are actually needed in order to manufacture so if you want to make ships if you want to make equipment you will need this you will need to either mine them yourself or buy them off the market so while right now because there is so little money in the market right now uh, they are very cheap um, in a week in a couple of weeks one in a couple of months once there's more money on the market all of that will be significantly more expensive so since I'm actually making decent money on those missions and as you can see I only have my Plex since yesterday but I actually already have 80 and another million and a half so I'm close to if I spend all this money I would be close to actually having another month's worth worth and it has only been a day of me having the uh, Omega clone 
All right, I think that may be all that I wanted to share for now. If there's any more decent news, decent tips, I will make another video. For now, if I missed anything, if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comments. And I uh, will see you guys later. Bye-bye.